Is Foursquare more valuable as an, an enterprise company now or is it a consumer facing company? You know, I think we're, we have to be a hybrid because the, the consumer community, like for Wikipedia or Waze or lots of other crowdsourced apps, is the foundation of our map of the world. Um, it's, it's this community that explores every neighborhood and finds the great places. And it turns out when you aggregate in an anonymous way all that data, it's incredibly valuable um, to lots of industries. How do you understand a city, its, its pulse, its rhythm through foot traffic? And remember, over 90% of the economy happens still in the real world, not through e-commerce or mobile commerce. So we really are, are sort of the Google Analytics of the real world. And it's working. The business is thriving that we raised $45 million in a difficult funding environment out there uh, is really testament to how investors saw the momentum in the business. But other people would say you do that at a lower valuation, so what's behind that? Well, you know, I think for the first time we're a real business, um, you know, with tens of millions of revenue. And so now, uh, now we're evaluated uh, on real business metrics, not on early hype. So I think the general market has, has found that um, the public market multiples for tech are, are, were quite different than the private valuations, and this is a topic that you see all the time. And so um, the good news is the only companies that are getting investment right now are those with a real business. You have successfully built, uh, built up and sold three startups. I gotta ask you, is this something that you know could potentially one day position Foursquare as a company that, that sells? We really wanna build something that lives forever. Whether it's part of another company in a few years or not, it's hard to say, but we want to build something really lasting. When you think Foursquare, you think Dennis. He was very much an embodiment of this yeah. technology. So he stepped down as CEO. Why the change? Well, he actually leveled up. Uh, he's uh, chairman of our board, and he's here every day. Uh, Dennis loves building the future, and he's incredibly good at it. There are only a handful of entrepreneurs who've created anything that 60 million people have signed up for around the world. And, um, you know, he really wanted to get back to tinkering with the next set of ideas for consumers and what technology looks like in the future.